Thank you. So um, I'm Zoe Leclerc Muller, and I'm an API product owner. I'm working at the AFP since more than two years, and within the marketing team. Uh, so I'm not a developer, and I have 25 minutes today to uh, explain you how crucial it was for us to get an uh, API. And, um, well, I thought it was interesting to talk about APIs in the media industry because medias and APIs and a news agency and API have uh, one strong thing in common. They both bring the world uh, closer together. So today I will explain you why we uh, decided to give access to our API, how we managed it and what it brought us. So first I'd like to recall what is AFP. Um, so it's a global and reliable news agency. It's one of the third biggest news agency in the world. It has been created two centuries ago in 1835 and well, we have a massive uh, worldwide network of journalists, more than 2,000 journalists in the world, uh, 201 offices in uh, 151 countries, and we even opened an office in North Korea two years ago. And well, this network allows us to cover almost everything that happens in the world, conflicts, wars, uh, politics, economy, finance, uh, health, technology, entertainment, lifestyle as well local as uh, international. And I guess you all know the historical text dispatches of the agency, but we also provide photo stories, videos, uh, broadcast, edited live video, video graphics, infographics, and as I said, text, but also multimedia, uh, already edited uh, stories. So raw content, but also uh, already edited, ready to publish content. And it's about more than 8,000 items a day in six uh, languages. Um, so, API. Why an API? So we have an internal API since many years, like most of the big companies. Uh, but we decided two years ago to open it and so to allow external users and customers to, um, to have access to that API and to have access to our production via this API. And for three main reasons. So the first one is related to the, to the mission of the agency. Uh, for any reputable news organization, it's all about uh, producing trustworthy, reliable content, and to make sure it's uh, reachable uh, as fast and as easy as possible. So it's really the, the mission of the agency to uh, provide the easiest, the fastest, but also an instantaneous and ubiquitous access to uh, our production. And this mission has uh, become even more important since, of course, the massive spread of fake news. And we do believe that one of the mission of the agency is really to help uh, our partners, our customers, to fight misinformation. And we also believe that an API is a technical enabler to, for, for this mission. Um, the second reason is that actually our customers were asking for an API since many years. And uh, today's websites, mobile apps, are built on uh, several software bricks, APIs. So, um, well, before, um, our customers could access our production via satellite, FTP, and afpforum.com, uh, which is our downloading platform. And today, they can uh, reach our content via the API on top of this. And the third reason is that we had to diversify our portfolio of customers. So it's a, a financial and economical uh, reason. So we have um, a massive uh, network of clients uh, all over the world, nearly 5,000 customers, medias, but also non-medias, um, big companies, small companies. But of course, as uh, Isabel said before, the crisis, the media crisis is hard and AFP also suffers from it. 
But the good news is also that it's an era of content. So everyone needs content. The advertising industry needs content. Brands need content. And innovation needs content to do uh, machine learning, to develop algorithm, and, and all these things. You need a massive corpus of content. And we can calculate, like, AFP has really one of the biggest corpus of text content, almost 3,000 stories a day, various formats, flash alerts, long stories, multimedia stories, six languages since 1835. So, um, and we thought, okay, so we can try to better reach those players, and we thought that we had to provide a modern and new uh, technical solution, and the API was one of these solutions. Um, Okay, so how did it go? Um, so I told you we decided two years ago to uh, open it to external users. So we first uh, began with a, um, a program called API for Startup. So um, we decided to uh, open the API to startups, so to help them to develop prototypes and proof of concept. Um, it was to promote to promote innovation, sorry, but also to get feedback and improve the API. So they just had the right to use our content internally. It was for free. They didn't have to pay anything, but they, didn't, they, they just had the right to use it internally. Um, so at that time, it was not really industrialized. We did a lot of things manually. And then uh, we got positive feedbacks. We could improve the API. We decided to uh, automate all the things we did manually before. We put a lot of efforts on security. We uh, built a scalable solution, um, capable of handling the load over time, uh, the traffic peaks, and to increase reliability. Um, so actually, of course, we did a beta version. And um, this year, in February, so a few months ago, we were really uh, ready to launch an official offer around the API. Um, so today, uh, we provide a standard RESTful APIs, get post methods, responses in JSON and XML, that gives you access to the entire production of the AFP, except broadcasts and live videos. Um, those are examples of APIs, um, cluster feed, helpers, latest, more like this, and search. And, well, this is one of the promise of our API, many facets and metadata for accurate and customized queries, but I will talk about this a bit later. And the name of the offer is AFP Content API. So, what did it uh, bring us? Um, first, really quickly, we noticed that indeed, as expected, we could reach a lot of new customers and users. So I'd like to share three different use cases with you. The first one is El Nashra. El Nashra is a Lebanon online media, one of the biggest in Lebanon. And they were already customer, but before, they uh, received the text and photo stories via FTP. And as we told them uh, we have an API, they decided to change really quickly for many technical reasons. Um, it, it was easier for them to, for, for the security, for the development, for the integration, the, the maintenance, the reliability, and many things. So today they receive the text and photo stories uh, directly into the CMS so their editorial tool, via the API. And this is one example among many others. Um, as I told you, we have a lot of customers uh, who are asking and we're asking for APIs because they want to populate the CMS directly with an API. Because at the end, it's more, um, it ensures more agility for them and it allows them to develop features and functionalities more easily. So to provide a better end user experience. Another use case is uh, Syllabism. 
Um, C Labs is a French startup, and they are specialized in um, data generated um, text. Um, so we work together. We work together on a um, we on a data automatic data generated food games report production. So it's C Labs redaction engine who creates this uh, these football games report automatically and based on data. And then we needed to illustrate those uh, football games report with a photo of the game. But we wanted to do it automatically, so we gave them an access to our API, and the redaction engine uh, automatically generated the text, automatically retrieved the right picture, and then pairs it. So it's a fully automated process uh, for a 24-7 coverage. And, well, it was just really easier to do this with an API to integrate C-Lab's uh, production chain. Um, so, and the third use case is WeMap. It's also a French startup. And WeMap provides um, interactive multimedia uh, maps. And they needed a um, reliable uh, and real time access to a reliable and geolocalized news feed to automatically uh, feed the maps. So again, we gave them access to our um, API and they retrieve, I mean, each map um, queries our API and automatically retrieves the right content. So in that case, it's our uh, online news products, it's uh, multimedia ready to publish content. So it automatically retrieves the right content and each map is uh, uh, automatically uh, populated with our content. And, well, again, they told us it's, for, it's easier and it's uh, the fastest solution to ensure a perfect synchronization between your database and our maps. Um, so this is one of the benefits that we could reach those new players. Another benefit is that we can, uh, the API allowed us to develop uh, partnerships. So, uh, for instance, we work with Eidos Media. Edus Media is an Italian uh, company and they provide uh, software solutions for publishers, so CMS, basically. So we have a lot of clients in common and we both wanted to um, improve the end user experience, so the journalist experience, and, um, and to provide a better access to AFP's content. So Edus uh, developers uh, developed a connector, a plugin, uh, that queries our API. And this plugin um, allowed the journalists to have, a, well, I said a better access, but to uh, perform multimedia searches, to correlate different sources, and so on. So at the end, um, the API allowed us to cultivate this partnership with Eidos and to develop a feature we wouldn't have necessarily uh, developed on our own. Um, another benefit is that thanks to the API, we can track the consumption uh, of our users and customers. And this is almost something new because this is something we couldn't do with the FTP or the satellite. Um, so, with the API, we know exactly, okay, uh, when was the last connection, when was the last call, what was the user looking for, uh, which query did he send, did he face errors, and which one, and uh, so what was he looking for, and what did the API reply, positive answer, and if yes, did the user download it, so it's a lot of precious and valuable data that we have on hand. And honestly, um, sometimes it was a bit hard. I, I did the training to our sales team, and sometimes it was a bit hard to uh, convince them to promote the API because they didn't feel really comfortable with it or it's super technical. But this was one of the important points that really convinced them that an API is uh, also some, uh, something important for them. Um, okay, and 
one of the last uh, important benefits is uh, the metadata. The API really helps us to promote the entire work of our journalists. Uh, so the finished product, but also the metadata, so the shadow work, so to say. And I mean, editorial metadata are not only um, basic information, it's also the main path for discovery. And it's really thanks to the metadata that we can promise that our API users will get the right content. I told you about C-Labs and WeMap, and it's really based on the pre-configured query itself based on the metadata. So we need to provide wealthy and reliable metadata. So today, uh, to perform this uh, accurate and customized uh, queries, we have 35 facets, criteria, and most of them are editorial metadata. So I gave you some examples. We have more than 1,000 IPTC categories, slugs, keywords, and named entities, public figures, organizations, companies, cities, locations. And this is a huge work of our editors and journalists because they fill it and they verify everything. So it's a way to, um, to promote this job and also to get them involved. And thanks to the API, I mean, they always did it, but now they really know how key it is to do this work. Um, so yes. Okay, so to conclude, um, so the, the main benefits of the API was that it allowed us to meet our clients' needs better and to um, ensure them a better user experience. Thanks to the API, we could help them to reduce uh, development times and costs, for instance or to better allocate their resources. It allowed us to attract new customers. 50% of um, AFP content API users never subscribed to AFP before. It allowed us to cultivate fruitful partnerships to provide also better features and to exploit uh, our journalists' entire work with the metadata and to get precious data about our users and the demand. Um, okay, so if you're interested, in, we also developed a portal, so it's developers.afp.com, and on this portal, 100% dedicated to the API, you'll get information about what you can, which content you can have access to. You can try the API, there's a link to Swagger. You can find technical documentation, and you can request a free trial. Um, Okay, thank you. Thank you, Zoe. It was really, really good. And thank you. we finally saw some really uh, real KPIs on, on how actually APIs have changed your business. Any questions for Zoe? <laughs>